Hey guys, it's the Catmeister, and welcome to a new gameplay on a very familiar game. Now, I've never played this game before, or any of the other ones, but welcome to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Okay. 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 My name is Ryan. I don't think I can fit, uh, ten words in there to write Catmeister, so I'm gonna put my actual name, Ryan. And, alright. Alright. And. Fire. Let's play it! In the vast deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or own guardian fairy. However, there is only one boy who does not have a fairy. <laughs> oh wait, I should have put Link as the name, like for his original name. I'm an I I'm an idiot. I should have done that. Put his original name, Link. Ah, uh, it's okay though. Oh my god, Ganondorf, you look hideous! His face looks- Oh my gosh, I'm so shocked. <laughs> Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither! Hi, Navi. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Thou thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Mal Malvon Lay, I, I don't know how to spell that, or say it. Forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the world of the Order. But before this torrent, Tremendous evil power, even my power, is of nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy with our fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose, desti whose destiny it is to lead Harville to a path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and bring him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi. Fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends on me. This is a good story so far. And we are heading to... Oh my gosh, this is like a... Link's village. Hello! That you go, you're weak, you don't know how to lift a rock, but just watch. Just watch me. You just standing there reminds me of a certain person. A certain person from my ROM hack in Majora's Mask or whatever. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> but I should put Link though. But it doesn't matter. Actually, it kind of does. Hello, Ryan. Wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Ryan, get up! Hey, come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? No, I want to sleep. Leave me alone, you silly fairy. Wait a minute. A fairy? Was I sleeping with my eyes open the whole time and I just... You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fair. Oh, thanks a lot. I was having a wonderful daydream about Princess Zelda. Gosh. 
How dare you? The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The great Deku Tree has summoned you. So let's get going right now. <sighs> Fine. If I must. Alright. Let's go out here. Kokiri Forest. That's a lovely place. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Ryan! Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! Are you really? Now, you are a true- Guys, if you don't know this, uh, Twilight Princess is actually a prequel between Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. If you think about it, in Twilight Princess, Link doesn't get the outfit until that certain time. Oh, a fairy finally came to you. Now you have a lot to learn. The best place to go to learn some new skills is in the Forest Training Center. It's on the hill just above here. Awesome. Anyway. Like, when you go in the forest further in the game, you meet the skull kid, that one skull kid, ooh, you meet that one skull kid, you know, the one from Majora's Mask, what am I doing, I don't even know what I'm doing, anyway, you meet that skull kid and you battle him, but then, later on, there's Ocarina of what am I doing, I'm going to go in here, alright, get this way, look over here with D, and talk to me with A, yeah, hey, you don't get the ocarina until that, what's it, welcome, talk to the owner, we sell shields, but not swords, okay, I'll come back when I have enough, anyway, you don't get the ocarina of time, ocarina, until this game, okay, what's the jump? Navi! Navi. Anyway, then there's Majora's Mask when you meet the Skull Kid again, but this time he steals your- Oh! Does it automatically make you jump? I didn't- I just want- Oh, it's- Oh! I'm an idiot. Anyway, you meet the Skull Kid again- Oh! Hey! You're not allowed to leave the forest. The great Deku Tree said that if a fairy leaves the woods, he or she should. Would... Oh my God! This guy sounds awesome. This tree sounds awesome. I like him. Some skin sounds good. Huh? They all got fairies. Okay, so I need to go. Okay, wait. Let's just say. Let's just say. It's not gonna let me look. Huh? Wait. Got to be a way to get through this. I mean, guys, this is my first time playing it, so. Don't expect me to be great on the first try because I I've never played Legend of Zelda games before. Is this where I came from actually right here? Oh. Oh, a rupee. So, oh, I got six rupees from that. Can I pick this up? 
No, I cannot. This is awesome. Ooh. My sister took some rupees and went shopping at the store. That uh, has a red roof. <laughs> Speaking of rupees, a green one is worth one. A blue one is worth five. And a red one is worth twenty. <laughs> Thank you. That is really as much appreciated. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's on a table. Alright, so it's auto saving. Alright. Okay, I, I need to find a way. Okay, it's auto saving again. Okay. So it automatically jumps for me. Ooh! Did I just get rupees for that? Did I literally just get a piece of that? Huh. I, I promise you that this. Wait. Oh, wait. What's up here? There's like a. Behind, there's something behind here. Don't. Ex again. Oh. Yeah, I'm strong. I'm strong. I am a beast! Hey, excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna have to find... Gonna have to try and find... That... That one thing. Navi. These signs don't really help me at all. I can't actually gain any rupees? No, I can't. Ooh, attack. What am I attacking? Oh, there's rupees in here. I forgot about that. I'm going to show off my awesome strike. I'm gonna show off my strength, everyone. <laughs> this is actually quite fun. But I never really found. I always found Zelda to be like a creepy game. Ooh, rupees. I always found this game to be quite creepy, though. For some reason. Because of all the creatures and all that. A by the stone, pick it up. A by the stone, pick it up. Mean old Mido, he picked me up the rocks in front of his house. Okay. Oh, what's in here, actually? Huh. How much more time do I have? Hmm. I got a blue ruby. Okay. I got another blue ruby. Got a green rupee. And this is gonna be a green rupee, I can just tell. Oh! It's a recovery heart! Yo oh wait. It just restored my health even though it's never been lost. Put it away. Anyway guys, that's gonna have to do it for this episode here. I am excited to be playing this game to be actually honest. It's a really fun game, but it's going to take me a little while to get used to it. <laughs> what was I doing there? It's going to take a time to get used to it. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!